and uh, Satoko will begin. Um, we'll have a little bit of an explanation, and Toko, she will show some of the videos of her collaborations with uh, different musicians, including Valerio, the most recent ones. Mm -hmm. uh, so they they have been doing these collaborations just in recent weeks, and they're both enjoying it so much that they promise they're going to be doing more and more. All so, right. um, could I introduce Satoko Motuji? With, um, she is a, in this phase of her career. She's doing what we could call improvisational painting or automatic painting, um, and I wanted to just. Uh, hear from her what uh, where it fits in. We don't want to say automatic because apparently the spiritualists still control that phrase for uh, automatic, like uh, Conan Doyle and those characters. But uh, even after Harry Houdini proved them all wrong, but the surrealists <laughs> then um, reanimated that Freudians and and Jungians and. Uh, so where do you put where do you put yourself in this uh, in this spectrum, Satoko? My I think improvisational work is fun. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Mm. Person, can you repeat that? My, <laughs> so I don't know how to place myself, but I just have so much fun doing it, and um, it's like being uh, being like a child. Uh, playing with mud, you did that when you were a child, and I'm playing with ink. <laughs> and um, also, um, I don't oh. think about results because it's just very um, immediate and I respond to the music. And um, so it's really a wonderful way of kind of relax, relaxing. And immediacy oh. is really um, something that I'm attracted to. And thirdly, uh, music is very abstract. And so I I have fun uh, painting images according to a uh, various music. And um, so I'm so um, happy to collaborate with Valerio and other musicians and composers. And then the fourthly, um, the physicality of the ink, um, paper, and brushes, um, something that I love because I splash ink and then one of the videos at the beginning, uh, L'Ascolto, uh, has the uh, shot toward the end of the film, the floor. So not only the painting itself, but also I splash the ink on the floors because I was just going like this. And so I will show you those. And then um, ink on the um, handmade paper, changes its darkness and lightness and also shapes because it moves around while I'm doing the painting within five minutes or th three minutes or, or even one minute or 30 seconds. So I initiate the move and I initiate the um, shapes and but I don't know what's going to happen next. So I just let let it go and have fun with it. Yeah, so. Great. I think, Satoko, if you could um, move a little closer to your mic when you're speaking, oh, you're okay. kind of getting lost a little bit. But then, um, so I'm going to mute everybody now, or we're going to mute everybody now, um, so that we can begin to, to watch these. Um, feel, I go ahead, Sandro, sorry. I already did it. Oh, okay, good. So, okay, Valeria. Yeah, do you want to introduce the first one? Go ahead, Satoko. Oh, I, I think Valerio, you should introduce it. Oh, I mean, you wanna, do you want to introduce the first one? No, no, you, I want you to introduce the first one because okay. it's your piece. <laughs> okay, it's so it's, um, it's a piece called um, L'Ascolto Riguarda Affetto that in English should be like hearing is about affect, effect. <laughs> and yeah, it's a piece made with um, recorded, field recorded sound and then put in, I mean, I just recorded sound outside, just outdoor and then compose in a piece of, let's say music. 
for sound composition. So. <laughs> no, Beautiful. I highly recommend Thanks. people to do this. Yeah. Sorry, what? I highly recommend people to do this. Ah. And it's great. It's so much fun, and it might be cheaper to have a counseling session. <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs>